I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we have to to survive, and there's no shame in that, believe me. Hm. You make an interesting choice, Cassandra, in not dressing to fit in. Fit in? Fancy clothes wouldn't help me fit in. Your Athenian hitons are strange to me. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Did Pericles tell you what I said about the cult in Athens? This cult? I thought it was his sickness speaking for him. It's true. But Phoebe's smart. She knows the way back. I hope so. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. 
What's gotten into you? Phoebe was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight for her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. Go! I'm going to destroy everything you ever created. Athens is mine. Pericles! Out of my way. All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go. It's all clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. The city has been taken. This isn't the Athens you used to know. That is why I must stay. We must begin again. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. You'll find Phinecas in the villa at the center of town. All the city's business is conducted there. Then that's my next stop. Have you thought about what you'll say to her? 
have questions about my past. My mother has answers she kept from me that I need. About your family? There are secrets. Someone important told me she would be able to help me understand. You should be cautious. What do you mean? Think about your questions carefully. What we know about our past can shape our future. We'll reach Naxos soon. We've had quite the adventure. Yes, although I don't think it's over yet. Where will you go? I have some business to attend to before moving on, and I have friends in the city I need to see. I doubt there's a speck of land in the Aegean where you don't know someone. You might be right. It comes with a profession, I suppose. And who knows, maybe I'll see you again. It doesn't seem that big of an island. Anything's possible. I'd like to know if all the trouble to find Finicas was worth it. Mm, I'd like to know, too. Did you not hear what I said? These are their most skilled killers. You cannot stay in the public eye. They'll find you. I understand you perfectly. But I also need to be seen. The propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Panos. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Spasia? What brings you here? Cassandra, read the room, my dear. What's this about the cult sending soldiers? Play along. The people here need convincing that I'm still a worthy leader. Aspasia is trying to have me hide myself away. She is under threat of assassination. My sources say the elite forces are already in Naxos. I cannot watch this happen again. You want me to handle the cult soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Where do your sources say I should start looking? I'd try the caves under Mount Zas. The cultists are so enamored with their own mysticism. It's predictable enough for them. I don't think anyone sent to kill you is going to admit who they're working for. You're right. Physical proof is better. I'm sure you can find something. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. The cult soldiers were paid with Rachmi from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the Merchants Guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them they can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. The Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. Sparta has changed since we were there. Corruption spreads everywhere, as Aspasia says, even to Sparta. They want to instill discipline across the Greek world, why they rot from within. They're focused on the wrong enemy. I instill Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then... Yes, I will go back. <clears throat> you may speak. Ships from Paros have blockaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Ugh. Tell them I'm on my way. A blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. 
There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? I don't see another option. But I have the best crew on the Aeon. Be safe, and come back to me, Lamb. So, you've seen it too, then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Malaga! So you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic. ...that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. This is a lot to take in. But I know you had good intentions. I don't think you lied about that. Never. I thought I could maintain control. But I overestimated myself. It just got away from me. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Themos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... ...something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid, and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There will be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans, and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait... Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. You've made questionable choices. But I think that was the right one. You knew him. All he did was worry about the state of the Greek world. If I told him, it would have ruined him. So... ...what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. 
Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. <laughs>